First, with our top story, local pharmacies are running out of prescription opioids. It is the latest product being impacted by that supply chain issue. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us how patients are now navigate, navigating this problem. Make no mistake when it comes to opioids. As a profession, we are being more responsible. Doctors say they're becoming more aware of the risks as the restrictions for prescribing opioids becomes more stringent. In the good old days, you could even call in prescriptions. I was way back. Dr. Vinay Balamkar used to write an opioid script on any paper. Then it went to a special paper script. Then you had to use an indelible ink. Then they turned the paper script into like a check type. Now, he says opioid prescriptions must be sent electronically. Unfortunately, now that it's electronic format, they cannot hand carry to a different pharmacy. Herein lies his issue. More and more, he finds patients are struggling to get their prescriptions filled. Sometimes they just don't have the supplies in the last month. He believes supply chain issues are forcing patients to pharmacy hop blindly. They can't call the pharmacy and say, do you have it? Dr. Balamkar saying certain companies have rules forbidding pharmacies from divulging that information in case they're potential burglars. They don't know who's calling on the phone. We reached out to CVS. They are working to give us their current policies. However, in 2015, they began keeping certain opioids in time-delayed safes starting right here in Indy. There should be a process where I hope the vacuum is not filled by illicit drugs and uncontrolled what we call street pharmacists. Those patients struggling to find medication may also start hoarding. Go to the pharmacy and this happens to you a couple of times. Common sense says, I better save some. Avoiding the withdrawal symptoms while putting their families in danger. In Indianapolis, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. We're still waiting for information on what may be causing the supply issues, so we're expecting that information, more of it, from pharmacies like CVS tomorrow.